Hi, <clears throat> Bill Henshaw here again with my court at gmail.com videos dealing with current events and all this COVID crap, otherwise known as quote unquote pandemic. And I had a friend ask a good question that seems easy on the surface, but like so many things as they say in language, black is white with governors and executive orders. They certainly would seem to have a lot of authority in that area, especially with this crap going on now. But when you've studied the constitution, history and laws of the United States, like I have for five decades, you know, and you had an aha moment, which I did a while back, there are no states remaining admitted into this union, quote unquote. In that case, at best, they're federal insular territorial possessions and the territorial governors are required to be appointed by the president. Article two, section two, appointments clause. Oddly enough, the office of president is currently vacant for reasons we'll discuss in other videos. But that said, first thing I would do is go in and get a subpoena from the clerk of court, ship it up to the governor and demand he produce a certified copy of his appointment to office, which he don't have. <clears throat> That's a major structural jurisdictional error. And I don't think under these circumstances, the governor would have any power at all. And there's real good reasons to think that. And those who be interested, send me an email at youwinningcourt at gmail.com. And I'll send you information back on my modestly priced constitutional defense document packets, which now include a COVID packet because a lot of you are gonna run into trouble here for the first, uh, seemingly the first time with martial law people knocking on your door. So that said, remember to like my videos, subscribe, and tell your friends, and I'll have more for you in the next video. Thank you.